What if... This was that, that video is going to be about. Hey, I'm trying to teach him the video. Let's go. I appreciate you showing what this video is going to be about. All right. Thank you for helping me out. I, that, that's what the video is going to be about. So, what is up, everybody? I'm glad, greatly, greatly happy to have you for this video. And um, what this video is going to be about is just providing the example as you guys saw before. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm I'm using an um, Adobe Premiere. Make sure you mark. I strongly recommend before you video, I would pause the video where you want to start zooming out and put a mark there and then put your camera, you know, you put your camera screen. Make sure you guys can see here. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys here. So I'm going to probably put a position right here around there where the little video editing border around here. So you want to see a little border on the video edit because you'll be zooming, scaled in. And then what do you do that? And then what do you set your camera there on your mark? And then what do you have your camera ready? Push play, and then you can do the effect pulling out your camera to your reality. And that's so much easier, make your life so much easier when you put a mark on there so you know where you are at. So I'm gonna try to find the part where I start zooming out. So I walk, okay, so right here is what I start zooming out. So I'm gonna crop it right here. And this is it, and then I'm gonna go back in the mark, and then I'm gonna put it over here. And mark make it so much easier because the first thing you do once you have that, I would put the video that you're zooming out on to opposite to 50% so you know where your position is. So now we put it opposite. Make sure you have this off so you don't have to change the opposite. So change that little timer button off. Now I'll look at this to 50%. And you can see the position. And I can see this scale right here. So now I'm going to scale in a little bit to match my foot. Whoops. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit until it matches my feet. There we go. Now I'll move the position down. There, move it over. I'm confused between which is up and down and over. So and then I'll move it down here. And it's very close to match. But you notice this border here. So let's zoom in more. Sometimes it's okay to make your feet a little bigger and then move it down a little bit and then you notice so as I go a little bit closer here when I start zooming out I'm gonna click on here let's go to the first frame and you can notice the scale so click the scale button right here because it's already mashed and same thing with position push on the position frame here and then when you zoom out and then you start zooming out scale back to 100 and push this position back to the normal position too. 950, 540. Yeah, so I forgot that. So make sure you set your position back to 950, 540 when you just start zooming out. And then click the timer button, whatever that is, stopwatch button. And the same thing with scale. Don't forget that. Just try to be close as possible, you know, because you don't want to be, that's like I said, border around the edit so you can zoom in a lot more. So without worrying about it, so I put my camera screen way too close to the screen. So make sure you have a border so you wouldn't have that problem. Okay, so this is pretty close. This is pretty close enough. So now let's get this opacity back to 100% and see where it goes, if it goes smoothly or not. So now let me push play. Oh, it looked really good. It looked really good so far because the motion is the same. Okay, so you notice this here. So I'm going to add color grading that I used on the other video. So let's see how that looks. So I'm going to move one frame back. So it doesn't look too good. Of course it's not going to look good. So at the part where you start zooming out, here I'm going to do it about right about here. So I'm going to mark it right here. So I'm going to go to Illumetry Color, press it, and then I'm going to go Basic Color Pression. And then exposure, so I'm going to mark exposure here, good. So now let's go back to the first frame part of the video. Okay, so I'm going to turn down exposure. There we go. So exposure look good. Okay, so as you can see here, my computer is not having a good day right now, but as you can see here, you edit exposure mostly, so you apply the same color gray and exposure, and make sure you mark where you start zooming out, like a little bit out, and then set the color green normal there. And then you move it back and you correct the color to the specific theme behind it to match as much as possible. So let's see the final result and you can see it right here.
this is it for this video today. I hope this effect was very useful for you guys and you can use it a lot. You don't see it very much often anymore. It'd be very useful for vlogging or anything in general. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you see you guys are pointing the thumbs up in the sky. If you are pointing your thumb up in the sky, click on that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. And if you already have, crack the bell to ring the notification for my future video and so on of 2019. Germs are still flying around over, and if you are feeling sick too, I hope you guys feel better, but if you're not, keep going strong there. I'll see you guys in the next video. You know, I was just about to put my hat there, but I need to do something creative up to end this video. I'm gonna lift this light, it'll be bright. It'll be very bright. I'll see you guys in the next video.